Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale your Keurig K-Slim coffee maker. So is your descale light on? If this descale light is on, that's telling you that internally the coffee maker is not working as good as it should. You're getting some buildup. There's a, there's a tank inside here that heats the water and it can get some calcium buildup on it. So is your coffee not tasting as good? Is it taking longer to brew? Or is it just not as hot as it used to be? These are all symptoms of your coffee maker needing descaled. So in this video, I'm going to be using Keurig's descaling solution. I really like Keurig's descaling solution. Um, at first, I wasn't a big fan of it because it kind of costs more. But you can pick this up at Walmart for six bucks. Uh, unfortunately, on Amazon, it's about twenty bucks. So there must be something in the shipping that causes it to be a little bit more. I'm going to do another video. You can also descale with white vinegar. It's a little, it's actually a lot cheaper, but it takes a little bit longer to descale the machine. This is actually a pretty quick process when you're using Keurig solution. Now I've tried this. This is Amazon's number one best-selling descaler. It's cheaper, but you also don't get as much. I don't like using this. Um, it's made by Perissa, I think, but um, it, it, it tends to be more soapy. And I was getting kind of a sudsy, and it was kind of, it just took a lot to rinse. I just wasn't very happy with it. Keurig Solution is actually really good stuff. Um, and again, it's made just for these machines, and I, um, I definitely recommend it. So, your user manual, manual that came with the machine doesn't talk about descaling. I'm not sure why. You've got to go online. That's the one thing I noticed with these manuals that come with the Keurigs. They do, they're just very basic. You can find more information online. So the easiest way I've found, you can go to the Keurig website, but go to, like if you buy it off of Amazon, if you scroll down, you'll see a, a PDF. So when you scroll down, you'll see a user guide and a product documentation. Those have a lot more information than what the manual gives you. So here I've got the user and care guide. I downloaded it as a PDF. It's got just a few more instructions. I wish they'd give you in the normal manual. It's got a whole section on descaling your brewer. This coffee maker actually has an automatic descaling function. You still have to use the solution, but we're, I'm going to show you how to activate that. So if you want to read the directions, you can pause your video. And I'm going to show you how to do this step by step according to their instructions. So there are some basic instructions on the back of the descaling solution. Have you ever wondered where the instructions are? But if you see that little thing that says peel, that if you peel this, it gives you kind of some instructions. So we're going to do brewers with a water reservoir. But it doesn't show you how to put the machine into descaling mode. But it does give you the directions kind of how to use the liquid. Okay, so to start off, you're going to make sure there's no cake up in here. And for the duration of this, we're going to, we're going to leave that empty. Also, you need to give yourself about 45 minutes to an hour to do this. So we're going to put, we're going to make sure we got a container. So back here at the water reservoir, we want to empty whatever water you've got in here. Um, just go ahead and empty out the entire contents of the water. Okay, so I've got this empty. This is citric acid. It doesn't have a, a super strong smell to it. It does suds up just a little bit, not very much at all though. But we're going to dump the entire contents of this into the water reservoir. Again, it might suds up a little bit on me. Okay, so there's about where it is right now. Now it says we got to take this over to the uh, sink. We're going to fill this exact same bottle up with, with just fresh water. Okay, so I filled this up with just fresh water. Now we're going to dump the fresh water in here. So we're basically giving it a one-to-one -one ratio, uh, one bottle of water to one bottle of solution. This is all the liquid we're going to add. We're not going to fill it up to the max. We're going to stop right there. So we're going to leave the machine plugged in, but we're going to turn the machine off. We want to make sure the machine is off. With the machine off, we're going to press the 8-ounce and the 10-ounce buttons together until the descale light lights up solid. Should be about three seconds. Okay. 
So the descale light is on solid now. And the K button's flashing. Now it says press the K button. Even though we don't, we're not going to touch the power button, the power button's not going to light up. This is called descaling mode. And we're just going to press the K button. Now that's going to brew the descaling solution through the machine and it's going to come out here. Make sure you got a container to catch it. And we're just going to throw that away uh, in the sink. So when I press that button, it went to solid. It was flashing. We're going to repeat this process. Um, when this is done brewing, I'm going to throw that away. I'm going to, this will start flashing again. I'm going to press that. We're going to do this until the add water light comes on. Again, be very careful that water is hot. Okay, so it ran about 12 ounces of water through it. I'm going to go throw this in the sink. I'm still in descaling mode. This started flashing again. My descale light's on steady. I'm just going to press the K button. And then that, what that's doing, it's probably going to do one more. It's going to run that descaling solution through here and clean out the machine. Okay, so after the second cup, the add water light came on. Again, we're not going to touch anything. We're still in descaling mode. All I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here to the water reservoir. Now, I still have some descaling solution in here and water. I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to, I'm going to dump that out, but I'm also going to wash this with soap and water because there's just some descaling solution in there. We're done with the descaling inside the machine, but we need to do fresh water rinses. So we want just nice, clean water in here. And this time, we're going to fill it up to the max line with fresh water. So again, I haven't touched anything. I'm still in the descale mode. The big K button's flashing now because I added water. Just going to press it. And now it's going to run that, that fresh water through there to kind of get rid of any descaling. If there's any descaling solution in here, it's going to flush it out now. And if you're quick, you might be able to get this done in about yeah, 20 minutes or so. 20 to 30 minutes. So each time I press this K button, it runs 12 ounces through. I'm going to throw that away now. I've still got a bunch of water to go. We're going to run all this water through there until the add water light comes on. So again, I'm still in the descale mode. I'm going to press the big K button. Now I'll exit descale mode automatically when the add water light comes on. So when I run this, it's going to take probably three more times of running 12 ounces through here. Then the add water light's going to come on and I will exit the descale mode. Your descale light should go out. If your descale light doesn't go out, uh, unplug the machine for about 30 seconds and then plug it back in and then power it on. It should go out. Now, if your descale light was on because you actually needed descaled and um, this didn't work, you, it says to buy another bottle of Keurig solution and to do a whole nother descale on it. So it's kind of important to keep up on descaling. I mean, the light. Doing it every time the light comes on, it might be building up too much on the inside. So they do recommend you do this about every three to six months, depending on how hard your water is. If you've got really hard water, your shower head will have a bunch of lime on it or underneath your sink. Um, there'll be just kind of a bunch of uh, really hard white lime up around your shower head. That means you've got pretty hard water and you probably should be doing this every three months. Okay, so mine just went out of descale mode. I got down to about that level. My descale light turned off. Now I'm gonna power it up and see my add water lights on. So I ne didn't necessarily see the add water light come on. All I saw was my descale light went out. And then when I, now I can power it on. I've got to add water and your Keurig's ready to go. They say fill it up with fresh water one more time and you're ready to brew a cup of coffee. So you may see this sold also, you can buy just the solution for six bucks, but you may see a three month brewer care kit. You don't save any money when you buy it. This is $14 and I added it all up, but you do get some rinse pods, which are really nice to use. I do use rinse pods. Um, you put them in there and it rinses the needles and does a really good job of that. You also get two carbon water filter filters. Now this machine did not come with, um, a carbon water filter but you may have added it and I should have started out the video so if you do have a carbon water filter you want to make sure and, and remove it now again this machine didn't come with one 
you can buy one. This is called the Tall Water Reservoir Water Filter because this has a tall water reservoir. But before you start the process, you want to remove um, that carbon water filter. You don't want the descaling solution going through that. So this three-month kit gives you two carbon water filters, which you would be changing, you know, every month and a half. And then you use these rinse pods in between like a tea or just every, about once a week or every two weeks, just for, even from brewing coffee. You'll be amazed at the stuff that comes out. And also when you first buy a Keurig, it comes with a $3 coupon. That's a really nice coupon. You also get $3 off of uh, K-Cups. Um, so that'll get you, this will be just about four bucks now, three bucks and some change. So that's a really good deal. So I hope this video helped. If you've got any questions at all, this is a really popular Keurig machine right now. These things have been selling really well because it is a pretty nice machine. It looks nice. It's got a nice water reservoir. Check out my other videos where I do detailed reviews, show you how to clean the needles. I'm also, my next video is going to be how to descale it with white vinegar. It takes a little bit longer. Um, just because you got to do a few more rinsing the vinegar has got kind of a stronger um, Smell and flavor to it. So you got to rinse it out a little bit more Again, if you got any questions leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to answer them as best as I can Thanks everybody for watching and if you could please like and subscribe